Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dominion Online. Just going to jump into another game here. Playing against Cedric. What is the kingdom here? We have... What is a caravan guard? I've seen it, but only a little. Hard in action, you can coin next turn. When they play an attack, you can play this. A church is some kind of trashing thing. Yes, very slow trashing, but also kind of a haven. Experiment? Hmm. Okay, you get two labs, but you have to put them back when you play them. Okay. So, what are we doing here? There's not any villages. Um... There is trashing. I assume we want a church, right? Like, it's fine. There's not really any buys either, huh? I mean, we want Swindlers, I guess. Swindlers just too good. And given that the game is going to be a Swindler Fest, Caravan Guard is probably good. But do you want the church first? Yeah, probably. Because you're going to have curses and stuff. It'll be nice to get rid of them. I'll just set aside the one copper so that I can buy a three cost here. What opponent buying? What? Rats? Is this a bot? Hello? There's nothing here that rewards you for rats. Except your opponent's swindlers, I guess, but that seems insane. Uh, what? Okay, I guess I'll take another swindler since opponent hasn't... The caravan guard's only good if opponent does something sane, like buy a swindler, right? If they're going to buy rats, I don't want a caravan guard. <sighs> what on earth? Please gain a curse. I don't know. I mean, merchant ship might be the... The problem with merchant ship is that I've already got two swindlers. Uh, church helps them to compensate for terminal collision a little bit. Merchant ship is just not very good. I don't know. It's a lot of money. I'm just going to get a silver, I think. Feels bad, but I don't want more terminals. Opponent, we are going to win this game by a landslide, by the way. I don't know what is happening over there. Like, you can trash them with church, I guess, but it's not, like, exciting. Wow, I hit the only curse in their deck. Okay, have another curse back. That's pretty bad luck. Not a huge deal, but definitely not good. All right, I'll take another church, I guess. Opponent's not swindling me, which is weird, but... So this, this silver is the one that could have been a merchant ship, and it turns out I would have liked it more to be a merchant ship this time. It's rats. What does Courier do again? You can play an action or treasure. Okay, they play. The like, opponent has four rats already. There's just, there's nothing here to reward you for... Oh, I should have maybe bought an experiment instead of silver, actually. There's nothing here to reward you for rats. It just doesn't make any sense. 
Okay, so here, for example, I can set aside a Swindler for next turn. I want to keep a copper so I can buy something. Not sure what. What did I hit there? A church. Okay, gain silver. I'll take an experiment, I guess. I'll be excited to see if they can pile out the rats this game. What a weird one. Courier. I always forget what Courier does. Play an action or treasure, but they did not succeed in doing so? Is that correct? No, they played the church. Okay. And they did play a merchant ship. All right. So trash this estate. Church. Setting aside, I think, just one estate. Maybe a copper, but there's not really a five cost that I want here. Merchant ship, I guess, would be okay. But I think gold is just better. Well, but the point is, I could have a copper in hand next turn and also buy merchant ship instead of gold. I think with churches, I have enough terminal collision fixing that this is okay. Oh, a rats. Okay, have another rats. I don't know, man. If this is somehow good, I'll be I'll be very impressed. I mean, okay, they're trashing them with church. They've gained a total of six rats, but two of them are in the trash, seven rats. So, I mean, they still have five in deck. Understand. And saving that copper, by the way, turned out to give us a province this turn, so congratulations to me for good decision making. Were they imagining they could get me to gain the rats somehow? I just don't understand it. They're turning their church into a card draw engine, I guess? Maybe this isn't horrible? Huh. Okay, yeah. I guess you can rats up the coppers you didn't want. And then church them for more cards. Interesting. Hmm, I think I'd rather play the merchant ship than the swindler here. Bank is not good. I'd rather just have gold. Ew. Oh, wait, do I have something? Ah, I do have two more bucks, so this is five. Okay. That's something. Yeah, maybe I dismissed this rats thing too soon. I still think it's probably not good, but I could be wrong now. At first, I was sure I was not wrong. You know what? I'm going to set aside two coppers as well and just buy a silver here. Or an experiment? Sure. That means that I can set aside the experiment for next turn. And still have eight bucks for a province. 
if I trash nothing here, right? Which I think I am going to do, trash nothing. Feels a little bad, but that's okay. So set these aside. Now I don't have to draw the province. I don't have to shuffle it in, I should say. Swindle their copper into a curse. Boy, we, we have a lot more draw than we need, hopefully. All the Storation stuff, though. Like, there's still no buys, so... I could trash a copper here. I don't even think I want to do that. Okay. Am I a dollar short or do I have something in play? No, I don't. I mean, the merchant ship, but that makes only seven here. So. What do I want to keep? I want to I want to buy a five cost probably right. Which means setting aside two coppers. I don't know what five cost. Probably another merchant ship is good. Rabble could be okay. Duchy could be okay. What happened? I trashed their duchy. Wow. Take an outpost, please. So I'm up 13. I don't necessarily need a duchy to stay in it. But it certainly helps shut them out, right? Yeah, I think duchy's Good. Still a little tempted by merchant ship, but yeah, I need to make sure I can still buy some provinces. Let's get the merchant ship. Do they have any rats still in deck, by the way? They have two. All right, these two coppers are going to be enough for province here. I'm I'm impressed with the rats church thing though. I think it might actually have been reasonable. <laughs> I notice they're not gaining any more rats right now. Uh oh, maybe this outpost was great. Maybe I shouldn't shouldn't have given it to them. Maybe the rabble was pretty bad for them actually. I don't know, I just thought this was like a way to stop their set aside cards from helping them, but actually it just gave them a chance to buy another province. Oh dear. I can trash a copper and still have enough money. But copper is not bad for me right now. It's not good though. Okay, let's hit a province. Oh my god, I did it. Now this province wins the game. <laughs> oh man. Well, that was a game. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the point of the, the Swindler hitting province was that it throws away one province from the pile so that when I buy one, it ends the game. Uh, otherwise, you know, I could buy a province and be up by seven, which is good, but not necessarily game-winning.
I don't know, man. What what happened in this game? Was the rats thing really any good? I thought it wasn't at first, as I said, and then I came to think maybe it was, but also I murdered them. The outpost I gave them turned out to be incredible. I think given how many churches and stuff they had... I don't know. I mean, like, the point of giving them rabble would be that it's terminal draw, and if they hit any other actions, they can't play the actions, right? But, you know, their only actions are like a caravan guard, a courier, and a merchant ship, and a bunch of churches. So... I don't know. I thought, what are they going to do with a three-card turn? The answer is, like, cash in all the stuff they set aside with churches, I guess. So, I don't know. I think the rabble might have been a safer choice because, in some sense, I was in a very commanding position in that I could hit province semi-reliably, about as reliably as they could, and I was up by a lot, and there's no way to gain more than one card per turn unless you get outpost, right? So outpost was kind of giving my opponent the only out that they could have to gain multiple cards in, a, in like, to gain more cards than I could. And then it actually worked out that way. They got the province. On their outpost turn. So I really, really felt bad about that. I think a rabble would have been safer. But it, it turned out okay. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.